Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm making a Swiss roll and I'm going to guide you through creating a heavenly swirl of soft sponge cake and luscious filling. This Swiss roll is really delicious, I love it because it's so light and fluffy and one slice definitely isn't enough. Alright everyone, let's roll. To make the Swiss roll sponge we need to separate the eggs one at a time and place the egg white into a clean medium sized bowl. Be careful not to get any of the yolk into the egg whites as this will stop the whites from getting stiff. We're going to whisk the egg whites now until they're stiff and they have doubled in size. Now we can add in the caster sugar and beat again until the mixture is thick and shiny. Just like this. Now add in the vanilla extract and the egg yolks and you can give it a good mix until everything's mixed in well. The mixture is ready so we can start adding the sieved self-raising flour. It's important to sieve the flour because if you do this it'll help introduce more air into the sponge and give a good rise. I add the flour in three stages. Fold the flour in gently with a metal spoon. Just make sure not to leave any dry flour in the sponge mix. Let's get this into the tin, pour it in and spread it out. This tin I'm using is 24 centimeters by 36 centimeters and make sure to line it with greaseproof paper. This sponge mixture is lovely and light and it's important to get this into the oven quickly. Bake in a preheated oven for about 15 minutes. When the sponge is baked, allow the sponge to cool in the tin for just five minutes before turning it out onto greaseproof paper, which is sprinkled with caster sugar. Remove the greaseproof paper and using a sharp knife, cut the four edges off. I like to make a cut about quarter of the way into the sponge and about one centimeter from the short edge. Just be careful not to cut through the sponge fully. This makes it easier to roll the Swiss roll as well. Start rolling using the cut to help make the first turn. Use the paper to help roll the sponge tightly. Now allow it to cool for about 30 minutes. When cold, carefully unroll the Swiss roll. There's lots of nice options for filling a Swiss roll. I'm just using plain, simple strawberry jam. Cream would be lovely with this too, if you wanna put that in. Strawberries and Nutella is another favorite. Roll up again to form a Swiss roll, and it's as easy as that. Dust with some icing sugar. This is a nice finishing touch to any sponge or Swiss roll. I'm gonna pipe some Chantilly cream down the center of the Swiss roll. Chantilly cream is just cream with icing sugar and vanilla whipped together, and it's really nice. Top with some fresh strawberries to make it really stand out. There's nothing like a fresh, light Swiss roll with jam and cream and strawberries on top. Believe me, this won't last long if you make it. This is one of the first bakes I made in school. I think I was about 13 at the time. And it's been a few years since I made one. I've done a pretty good job on it, I'm sure you'll all agree. I really hope you enjoyed this Swiss roll video tutorial and give it a go. Leave me a comment below and let me know where you're watching from. I'd love to know. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on my easy to follow video tutorials. I've lots of gorgeous recipes on my channel, something for everyone, so please check them out. Check out the recipe in the description box under the video. Happy baking everyone, enjoy!